Let's open <laughs> the book. It is a very cool looking book. I think the, the Myst community is very much into building replicas and stuff like that. Something that I've always wished I could do. Uh, because this, for example, this looks really cool. All right. Oh my God, it's text. Well, okay. <laughs> please, this fire is a your... bit harder to read, but yeah. I'll try. Um, the latest ink formulation has proven a failure. Uh, that's probably link, not ink. Sorry. Even when writing in my most promising books, I obtain only the barest glimmer of a connection. It is fascinating to expend so much effort creating a blank book only to end up destroying it when it doesn't work. There are days when the lab is uncomfortably warm from the flames of these failed attempts. The further I refine each element, the formulations of the inks and papers, the physical dimensions of the books, the more I realize that the list of potential combinations is nearly infinite. It is during moments like these that I despair without access to Denis, my long-term goals have n may never be accomplished. Nonetheless, these are avenues of research which remain to be explored. And the date is uh, about five years after the original journal. Oh, before. It was 87. Oh, no, three years. I thought it was 80, 79 in the last one. Oh, maybe you're right. 87. The one you, we are carrying, you mean? I yeah, think that was 87. Note. We'll look at it after. Okay. I'm, dis I'm discontinuing regular observations of the stars beneath the fissure. Although I've been able to track the dark cloud-like uh, formations that migrate through the star field and have... Proven? Proven, thank you, <laughs> that their paths are cyclical. Without proper instrumentation, it is pointless to continue. By the way, I've got, I have to say that I am reading this in a, a window through Skype in a smaller 640 <laughs> by 480 window. Yes. <laughs> on my monitor here. Like, I know, like, to you watching, you're going to get it full screen. It's going to be easy to read. But I'm like this tiny, tiny window with another window yep. with another window. See, this, these anyway. are the things that we do for you guys. And you're yeah. welcome. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let's go on. So that's why I'm struggling so much. But anyway, my general theory concerning the nature of the fissure has remained unaltered since it first appeared. It seems that the fabric of this age has been breached in a way that permits matter to be hospitably exchanged between two discrete but overlapping species, much like a link. But the apparent physical con contradictions surrounding this juncture defy logical reason. The great column of wind that was formed when the fissure first appeared, suggests a vacuum as one might expect in space. Yet, my early experimentations reveal the presence of a breathable atmosphere. The, uh, the Atmos, uh, Atras, sorry, of course, the, the dude at the ah, beginning. Yeah, yeah. The Atras and Catherine threw themselves into the void is first... Further. Hand evidence. Further evidence that it. Oh, it's further ev evidence. Our oh, first hand <laughs> evidence works too. But it's yeah. further evidence that it might be safe to travel. But without knowing its true, ne true nature, I oh, cannot yeah. take the risk myself. It is also difficult to say what would happen if I were to reopen it after so long. But it is likely that the results would be catastrophic. Given the changes that have occurred in this age, I feel like I'm <laughs> dyslexic or like 12 <laughs> years old. Like, let's sound out the letters, people. <laughs> okay, see red. <laughs> so anyway, that have occurred in this age since that time. Sorry. <laughs> I was just taken back yeah, many years. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Um, 
Maintenance on the steam vent. Caps. Completed. Okay. Steam um, vent caps. Okay, yeah, okay. Steam vent. I'm... Yeah. I am extremely pleased with the continued success of this system. I believe the 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 the, the construction to have been true to the demi designs of my memory. Another example of the superiority of the Denis technology. It's ironic that Atras and Catherine unwittingly provided me with such a convenient source of power. Okay, so well, this that is... That could be important. Okay. Yeah, so this is... Uh, okay, so he, this is, I guess, the steam vent or whatever, and he's uh, taking power from it. Um, with some kind of lever and a dome. Yeah. Okay. All right, next page. <laughs> if there is one. Yeah, of course. That's always yeah. the next page. It's a book after all. Mm -hmm. As with many of my views over the years, my thoughts regarding the origin of the fissure have changed. By the way, I'm just going to pause. For, for, for miscraft in Minecraft, right? if you get lost in the uh, mist worlds, for any reason you've lost your linking book, gets destroyed for whatever random reason, you can keep making books, and uh, one of them will contain something called a starfisher. And if you yes. leap into the starfisher, you get t transported back to the overworld, like the uh, you know the original spawn point in Minecraft. Mm -hmm. um, I so, think that the yeah, starfisher that... um, is, if the snippets I found and saw a scene, uh, the starfisher is what we fell into, and that brought us to the Mist Island in the first game, I think. Um, so I thought yeah. you would travel there in a book. I thought the first thing you do is click a book when you start mist. Yeah, it's a good point, but I think it's wasn't that related. No, I think that. Hmm. So I think a starfish yeah. is basically like a a rip in the fabric of of. Or did the a, book fell for the starfish and we found it. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, I think it's connected to us getting to mist, though. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, so I think, like, this would take you to, like, a random world or maybe our home world or something like that. And it's a way of traveling around without books, basically, is to mm. use the fissures. But it's just, and it's probably the discovery of these fissures that led the Dunin to eventually be able to write books. They probably studied the star fissures and then worked out how to control that power of, of the worlds. Maybe, yeah. That's, that's my theory. Anyway. Um, I just wanted to talk theories uh, quickly. All right, let's carry on reading. I've got a novel to read anyway. I have recently begun to wonder whether it was actually an unexpected byproduct of the changes. Catherine and Atrus wrote into this age during their escape. Oh, so they're saying that the starfisher was a, an actual element of writing into the book. So they created it as part of... Do you know what I mean? Like the mm. symbols that are used to write yeah. the books in the first place. One of them represents the starfisher. Um, okay. Anyway, certainly by casting their linking book into the void, they trapped me here quite effectively. Oh. Uh, but I do not believe that. Uh, so this is uh, what's his name writing this? Uh, but by Ben? Gen? Whatever his name is. Gen. Gen. That's it. Presumably, yeah. Again, the two of us. Anyway, um, so they cra trapped him quite effectively. But I do not believe that Atrus intended the book to be lost in this manner. Much better to destroy it than to risk the possibility of it falling into unknown hands. Also, had they foreseen the creation of the fissure, they would surely have thought that the vacuum it created would eventually consume the atmosphere of this planet, a fate which Catherine undoubtedly would have deemed unacceptable okay hmm so the fissure is um, causing the world itself to be unstable maybe yeah uh, so Catherine for her homeward her... it's unacceptable for her home world oh home world yes yeah. sorry <clears throat> So is this a is Riven Catherine's homeworld, or is she? 
which hmm. I don't know. No, that was a bit weird. Yeah. Right. If I if I had not been to, uh, uh, been there to supervise the construction of the sill, this is most certainly what would have happened. For the villages were far too frightened to even approach the vortex without my um, urging. Urging. No. Yeah, well, urging. Yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah. I hold. I hold on to the belief that it was an unintended consequence of their waiting for another reason as well. Um, I prefer to think that my son had meant for this age to be merely a prison for me rather than a death sentence. Okay, so presuming that this is actually Gen's diary, um, yeah, this leads, leads further support to the idea that Gen is actually... Our, our, what is it called? Atris' father? Yeah. Um, unless there's some other layer that I'm not getting. And, it, and yeah, and obviously it being a death sentence, being that the world is collapsing. And mm. he's like, oh no, it's supposed to be a prison. I, you know, not, I think he uses the word prison, but I would perhaps use um, uh, the word, oh, what's, what am I looking for? Um, like an exile? When you, an exile, that's the yeah. yeah, exiled him, basically. Yeah, um, and yeah, so he's basically saying, oh, my son will never kill me. But, yeah. I mean, we've seen the true nature of Atreus. He killed his own sons, so burned the well, books. Trap. Well, he, no, he exiled his two sons, because they're trapped. They weren't... Yeah, but he oh. destroyed the books, remember? Yeah, but that doesn't destroy the world, does it? Well, but if they that are trapped in the link, that was what the diary said you know it said like oh if you alter it you can create these prison books and then the people aren't actually traveling to world they're trapped in the link so okay oh, in the void yeah. yeah so i guess maybe the sons are still trapped alive somewhere in the void but that's actually worse than killing them i think but Probably. yeah um the construction of the uh images has proceeded without fault it is definitely interesting to see how easily I've been able to adopt the Denis technology to mimic that of the uh, Ahmed. In some ways, mm. the similarities between the two cultures were sticking. I wonder if perhaps these had been communication or commerce between the two cultures in earlier times. Maybe uh, Keta's people were even descendants of the Denis. It pleases me to think so. And we have a and weird diagram. Of a spinny globe that generates some kind of electromagnetic pulse thing, maybe? Or static electricity? Or maybe it dispenses bubblegum. Uh, no, it is possible that if I had somehow able to supply the books with a power source of sufficient magnitude... I could suppress the variance enough to facilitate a solid link. It is doubtful that the geothermal cap generators could provide such an enormous surge. Perhaps I could adapt the fire marbles. Fine marbles? Fire marbles? I assume fire marbles, yeah. That sounds powerful. So basically, this whole island's construction, all the things we're seeing, is this guy's attempt at generating enough power to open a, a link to escape, is my guess, yes? Um, and yeah, uh, basically, maybe. what we're doing ourselves is trying to recreate that so that we can escape. Well, we also have to um, find Catherine. And find Catherine. As and well. trap again. Yeah. Oh, so much to do, so little time. Yeah. <laughs> I have enough time to read novels. I've been cataloging the natural elements of this age for nearly 30 years now, almost as long as I've been reading this book. Yet still, I continue to find evidence of the Dene as a, a preoccupation with five. Well, we've worked that out, right? Yeah. So we've got the five stars. We've got Riven with the giant V as a title. As a yeah. Clip. And um, the symbol which we think represents numbers, and we think that might represent five in itself, yeah. which we found on the eye. And yeah, mm. I think 
So everything here is just being five related. Also, if it's um, numbers of fives, then presumably there's still one of those marbles with the eye marbles left somewhere. Okay. Because we only have four and so I, far. And the secret soundtrack to this game is five will make you get down. Yeah, <laughs> one, two. <laughs> Anyway, uh, <laughs> give me five, high five. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah. yeah, the five dwarves. Uh, five dwarves. What did you do to the other two? Well, send them, that. send them into the starfisher, <laughs> never to be seen again. <laughs> just to make the numbers come out even. Yeah, one's called. Um, anyway. Um, <laughs> Right. From the ancient heraldic emblems of the <laughs> ceiling elite, that's probably the wrong word, but um, to the humble homes of the commoners, it was ubiquitous. Its presence here is obviously a discreet reflection of the minds that designed the texts that are used to compose this age. Further proof that though this uh, that through this act the Denis masters I wonder if that's the uh, five people in the, the portrait yeah like the god and then the five yeah Peter, like prophet type thing so the Denis masters were indeed creating the marvellous worlds they wrote and not as many have mistakenly thought merely building links to pre-existing worlds okay so they are like gods among us Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So basically, they're saying they're not linking to worlds that exist already. They're creating the worlds from scratch. Yeah, yeah. And while most of my constructions have been based on Denis designs, uh, I see now that the ones that I have imbued with the power of five are clearly the most beautiful, the most perfect. And I believe the m most st structurally sound. Oh, it still continues. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, Ooh, yeah. I'm still attempting to determine how the Denis color symbology uh, reflects this superior design principle. Although superficially it is based on a six color system, I am convinced that these are to be deeper connections to five i will continue to investigate and now we might want to write those yep. symbols I'll down somewhere. quickly so these are the symbols for the colors right yeah apparently uh, there's like a, it's an eye snake eye a, a closed, closed eye, eye a an tired old... eye <laughs> a uh, alert eye um, a um a sideways, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, a sideways over, eye. Yeah. Sideways eye. And it's, it's a frog a eye. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay, so I these are. We made a breakthrough again. Yay. Related to colors. Six symbols. All right. I finally made a breakthrough. I succeeded in modifying the five marbles, to, um, or fire marbles. I don't know. It's I think there's fire marbles. Five marbles, as a noun, doesn't really make sense. Okay, to generate enough power to hold a descriptive linking book in a stable matrix. I think so. Yeah. I have linked to a new world. It is a harsh and desolate age but it's nonetheless well suited for yeah. my purposes and so i've designated it my oh for crying assignment. out loud um uh, all right how how okay oh oh wait 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 um Uh... And he continues on while you're doing that. By, by studying it closely, I believe I will eventually be able to create a more 
appropriate, blah, blah, blah. I'll probably linking book. Yeah. Uh, so... I'm not sure what this small squiggle is supposed to be. No, my third, like my. Oh yeah, yeah, that's an RD. You're all right. Um... Yeah, so it'd be like the, my whatever number RD. So like my third. Yeah, kind this of this symbol here to the right kind of looks like one of the symbols. Uh, that was like on the backside of the first I thing that we found. But we missed, could have missed symbols. So yes, but this was the first there. one we discovered. And but that's a number in some way. Yes, that's what I'm getting at. This sort of confirms the theory that these are indeed yeah. numbers. And that probably means that it's the third, you know, it's like the, the whatever, 23rd or whatever. Um, yeah. You know, so this is probably a three, but we are not sure on that just yet. I'm sure there will be a table or something about this at some point. Yeah, um, that's our clue that they're probably numbers, yeah. Yeah. Okay, turn the page. Oh, yeah. Sorry. So, um, I studied closely they believe that they could create a more appropriate age for us to resettle on. For now, I'll build an office and set up my living quarters there uh, in order that I may conduct my experiments in safety and without distraction. And then we've got weird dishes and so mm. on. There's a... Um, if you look at that room, that might indicate... A location to go to on the right one well, is yeah there's a few bits there to that hmm and is that numbers next to the thing there I don't know uh, which thing where so the third symbol across the third drawing yeah that what's above that there's three arrows pointing down I think these are like little flames or something oh, okay sure. this is too indistinct and yeah. I believe the fourth symbol on there is the room with the five pillars. With an arrow pointing down. Uh, that could direction. be actually, yeah, 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 yeah. And the right hand side maybe being the cave secret entrance, maybe. I don't know. Could I'm not sure if it indicates be, much. But this doesn't really look like anything. Maybe the yet. big observatory if it moves in So you're, you're saying it's sort of flipped on its own, you know, like it's, it's upside down now and we have to put it yeah, right side up. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, plus it's, it's yeah. It's possible that we we still haven't seen everything. Okay. All right. I must admit that I am proud of my work. To think that in such primitive conditions, I have accomplished in twenty nine years what it took the original Denise centuries to achieve. Note: repair outer wear for work on this world. The goggles may need to be redesigned altogether. Okay. I've begun construction on a series of link sites for each island that will connect Riven with my new office on whatever world number that symbol yes. means. The Survey Guild has finally completed the site location for each island according to my exact specifications and installation of the domes is underway at last. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Work on the central power source got off to a bit of a bad start, I'm afraid, but the pace has picked up considerably since then, and I anticipate no further delays. I'm looking forward to finally having a civilized mode of transportation. So there's the symbols again, but they don't match what we originally saw. So this looks like it might be important. Mm. And it's turned to its side. It is, could have been. It is. It is turned on its side. Um, yeah, so the order of these things is correct. Okay. They're just well, all fine. rotated uh, counterclockwise by one. But you can see, if you look at the, um, the dome there, it's got a dotted line on the second symbol. There's like a dotted line, so if, if it might flip. Do you know what I mean? Uh, no, I think this is actually not the... This is not the observatory, I think. Um, no, this is the power control. The power control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a sphere. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'm if I may it rotates go back control. here, this is not the power sphere. This is a building. Oh, yeah, that's true. Right? Yeah. So and this is the observatory, of course. 
or we do, do we dub the observatory there's so much deep <clears throat> lore in this like it is yes yeah, like all of this stuff is connected, and even like little things. I'm going to say something good about this game, like some massively. When you're solving puzzles, the fact that you can look at individual pipes and ropes and see where they go, and like everything has a meaning to it, and yeah, you know, everything's into it. Like, how what an amazing accomplishment to build such a deep and rich world, which even though graphics are better nowadays and our locations are vast, I don't think like there is such deep meaning in in the locations and connectivity in modern games. And that is true. Right. And also the lore that is behind this. I mean, just the fact that they provide all these books. I mean, if you remember in the first game, I was like, yeah, I'm not reading this book, you know, because it's just so long. What have we been doing for the last 15 minutes? <laughs> We've been reading a book and it's actually very interesting. You know, it's, it's, you know, it's not, te I mean, okay, so you're doing the actual reading, but it's not tedious, you know, it's, it's, you know, you want to yeah. see where this goes and you want to know how that all fits together and, you know, what the background is. And, uh, yeah, you uh, know, it To works. be fair, other games have, like, rich lore behind Like World of Warcraft. It does. Has yeah. Rich lore. But it doesn't necessarily in its locations so much. There's a couple of exceptions, like, I know, Aldra, when you're walking around Aldra, um, or that kind of thing, where the, the details kind of mean a lot even though you may not notice and you can read into a lot, you know, like there's a, you know, a map of, of Azeroth that's slightly different and that means something. And you know, anyway, I'm getting carried away. Um, yeah. Let's carry on reading. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we have this page, right? Uh, wait, 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 wait. This is next one. All right. Due to the rebels continued disturbances, I've decided to install a coded access system into all of the domes. Ah, there, there we, we go. go. And these are numbers, I had assumed, but we don't know what the numbers represent yet. So there is. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is coded access. And uh, it's a cross. Yeah. It's a thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> thing <laughs> then uh, a, 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 a valley between two hills i was thinking it was uh, a a bird flying through a window <laughs> or against the window <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh god okay so it's uh, the the valley of the birds <laughs> yeah the fourth one is the same bird doing a barrel roll <laughs> trying <laughs> desperately to avoid the window <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> And the last um, one is the bird having hit the window, <laughs> and now yeah. you're like, and it's, ah. smudged, it's smudged <laughs> man. yeah, and it's cracked the window. That's just a giant crack in the window. Yeah, that that sounds that sounds likely. Um, all right, okay. so this is something like this. Okay, I've noted these down. All right, let's uh, continue that. I caught one of my assistants looking over this journal today. And I'm glad I've chosen to write it in a language that cannot decipher. Uh, discuss security with each guild master. Uh, no problems expected from the maintenance educators and surveyors. Question the bookmakers and builders more closely. Okay, interesting. Uh, today I heard several more reports of spirit sightings by some of the villagers. It seems that under Catherine's leadership, the rebels... As the black moisty. <laughs> oh god. Black, That's the black monty. <laughs> the black moisty sounds like a <laughs> <laughs> I know. I don't even need to go further. Just don't look it up on on you on Google is what I suggest. Black moisty. Black moisty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's definitely over eighteen. Um, <laughs> That's the name of the episode right there. <laughs> Is it black? As the villagers obstinately insist on referring to them, have attained a new level of sophistication in their hmm? t in their something tactics, Tessa tactics, in their I don't know, tension tactics, and have renewed their campaign to intimidate the villagers into joining them. Terror, playing maybe. Upon, 
Oh, terror tactics. You're right. Yay. And have renewed their campaign to intimidate the villagers into joining them, playing upon their shared superstitions. The villagers are certainly unsusceptible to this form of coercion, especially given of late the rebels' increasing rate of vandalism and theft. Mm -hmm. I can't even read the first word here. The... Uh, well, the second word. <laughs> yeah, I should say. The the stream traps. Uh, steam traps. Taps. Traps. Oh, okay. I guess it could be. The steam traps have been steadily fruitful this year. Oh, that was probably the thing that we caught the frog, right? Apparently, the breakup of the islands have not adversely affected the subterranean ecosystems. Yeah. Unfortunately, I imagine the rebels are experiencing a similar generous harvest. No shortage of poison for their... Darts. Darts this season? Okay. Such morbid issues aside, the sudden availability has allowed me to refine a particular pleasant extract from my pipe. My accent went out the window for like the last five pages. Right. One That's that right. is smoother than any of the others from recent years. Chemical analysis of one of the rebel... Nice. Knives has yielded curious results. Its composition contains elements that are unlike everything uh, I've encountered or anything I've encountered on the islands. It appears they have access to a resource of which I am unaware. Perhaps a mine on uncharted or uncharted island. And it looks like the um, subway system for London symbol um, on the right hand side. Please really? mind the gap. <laughs> it's like embedded in the arrow. Um, noting down the know. system, but I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. No, no. Most of the oh, it's a knife, isn't it? Most of the knives have been found in the south side of the village. This is the same area in which there have been reports of people mysteriously disappearing. I think a closer inspection of the of the area is warranted. Have you ever read? Um, a, oh. Who wrote the book? It's about uh, a, a, a boy who has a, a knife that can cut doors with the knife. It, like The knife is so sharp that he can no. actually cut reality okay. and, and transport himself between worlds. Uh, like That to me, like this knife and the way they mysteriously disappeared, suddenly reminded me of, of the book. It's a really famous book. It's, like a, it's a trilogy. The Golden Compass film was based on, uh, it's the same thing. Because okay. uh, the second book, like the first book is like the Golden Compass. The second one is the something knife. <clears throat> and then and then I forget all of them. But anyway, yeah. Hmm. Uh, they're no, famous no books. Idea. I should read them, even though the guy's a, a, a bigot. Anyway, the, the author. Uh, whatever, <laughs> I won't get into that. The fact that they leave them the distinctive knives as a sign of their presence concerns me. They're growing more bold and seem to no longer fear discovery of their hideout. The latest measurements indicate that the recent trend has continued. The movement of the island has slowed tremendously. My curious estimates predicted a total collapse in approximately three months, but with the new figures, I am uncertain. I have mainly finished writing the something age, is a new age, um, yeah, so we know from this that the symbol is not a two. Well, or, or one or a three. So it could be like the 44th age, because it looks like it it's could, a double symbol one after Yeah, but another. it's double symbol, so it could be the 11th age. That's true. Which is actually not too unlikely, uh, assuming that he, he doesn't have like the 99th age here. Um, well, say for instance <coughs> it's the um, 24th age, and then the, the one that he made previously could have been the 23rd age. Because this is one after that. Mm. Yeah, you're right, this, the symbol can't be a one, because then the other number... Oh. 
wait a minute. But those two symbols are exactly the same as each other. So yes. it would have to be it has the to be a, a, 44th just, age, and yes. then the next one would be the 43rd, because the numbers have to match. Yes. So I think the F symbol is for 4, and the K is a 3. Well, it could also be 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. But no, it, it can't, can't be. Because if it's a five, that would make it the 55th age, and the age before won't be the 54rd age, would it? Why should that be a four? The the K. Because it's the thing. age he created before, because they're numbered. So we've already worked out that oh, RD means uh, the K is a three. Oh, you're right. Of course, yeah. So he did that after that. So yeah, that must be four. So that's the 44th, and that's the 43rd. Yeah, that's okay. my guess. Yeah, 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 you're right. Best guess. Uh, so where are we? Um, At the number. So the 44th <laughs> age, and I have every, I'm going to call it that now and assume I'm right. Uh, and I have every faith that it will indeed be a safe place for us to relocate to. It would be helpful to know what has caused the halt in this age's breakup. Is it possible that it's stable after all? If so, I must discover how this age differs from my less successful attempts. My examinations of the 43rd age have thus far proven inconclusive. Hmm. I could be wrong, but I'm going yeah, to Yeah, it could be a higher number, point. but uh, it's a pretty good guess. I mean, they do want us to figure out the numbers, so... <clears throat> yeah. Uh, and we've already worked out what the fifth one is likely to be. Probably. It's a ribbon symbol. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. So, uh, on perhaps some, uh, or perhaps someone is repairing the damage to the fifth age. If so, it would almost certainly be Atris's doing. I have reluctantly decided to abandon my experiments into the behavior of the water of this age, as these are more pressing matters on which I must now concentrate, leaving me little time for such speculative research. For future reference, however, my investigations up to this point have revealed the following. I believe the re unremarkable. Oh no, it is remarkable. I believe the <laughs> remarkable properties of the water to be caused by a life form that resides in it. Maybe those weird, like d uh, dinosaur snake things that yeah. kind of. No, no. The next specifically. Line. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah. A type of bacteria. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I am imagining a. Uh, a mobile, a mutile, unicellular. Organism, uh -huh. whatever that first one is, right, but one, but one with structures capable of holding bits of water, whose combined effect via surface tension question mark a stronger force question mark causes the composite body of water to move in response to heat. Prolonged exposure to extreme heat, for example, a period of extended boiling seems to kill the bacteria, which would explain its dramatic aversion to heat sources. Unfortunately, these theories are still not fully tested. I remain ignorant both of its deeper nature and its possible uses. Mm, that is interesting. That is interesting. So he's basically saying that the water isn't actually water directly, but it's like an a, organ. It's uh, like well, a, yeah, it's like a big network of organisms. Yeah. And that they actually withdraw from heat, for example. And that explains also the boiler room, I guess, uh, where he would then kill off those those things. Um, not sure exactly why, but, you know. Yeah. My God, this still goes on. <laughs> An exciting development. <clears throat> Last night, a squad of maintainers, maintainers stumbled upon a... Low, uh, lane, lone rev a lone rebel scout. This is Star Wars. And obtained from him a most incredible device, a lightsaber. It is a crystal. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a lightsaber crystal. <laughs> that somehow powers these flawed linking books. Oh. Much as my own system does. But with an obvious advantage. It is small and weighs only a few pounds. Making it completely portable. Catherine must have fabricated the device before I captured her. Obviously, this is definitely uh, Gens, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, obviously, with an explicit dummy <laughs> schematic, she must have brought with her to this age. 
If only I had access to such a document all these years. Regardless, I can now concentrate solely on the writing of ages. I need no longer... Um, that's right. No, you no longer waste or worry about building elaborate power supplies for each new book I write. This is a sobering reminder, however, that I must continue to seek an arena avenue avenue to 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 me to to me. Okay, so he's trying to access the to me homeworld, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> Regaining access to the resources uh, there may be crucial to the completion of my mission. So, isn't the uh, to me homeworld uh, <coughs> Uru? Um, so, yeah, two things. First, um, was it in the diary that we were given? Uh, somewhere in this in this uh, game so far, we we learned that Gen was trying to restore the Dani. Civilization. Or was that what Atris told us in the in the intro? Something like that. So it seems the um, the um, uh, what you might call it the uh, uh, this the civilization is kind of sort of lost or yeah, destroyed. Well, the linking to it, they haven't got a link to it. I guess. Yeah. I'm now that um, you mentioned Uru. That's the second thing. I think you're right. Isn't that so at the end Isn't of the first one, game, something the called the path to Denis or something. Yeah. Uh, it could be because if you remember the end of the first game, yeah, we we took the special um, ending, and at the end of it, we had all those crystals, and we could uh, we were powering uh, yeah the link, all of that, and opened a gate. I thought that was to uh, to the Demi homeworld of Uru. I could be mm, wrong. No, no. <clears throat> um, and I, I'm very sorry. Uh, someone mentioned this in, I think, one of the comments. Um, so in the Rhyme Age, uh, I think what they were actually showing us was Riven. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that's, uh, from what I understand, is that was added in a, like an extended version or, or whatever to, to Mist to sort of build a story bridge between Mist and Riven. Uh, that's my understanding. Oh, okay. I, I could be wrong, but that's what I remember. It sounds sounds about right. Yeah. But okay. anyway, is there any more pages? Are we done? That is actually the last page. Holy crap! Um, we should <clears throat> we should call this series "Let's Read Riven." <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, god. Okay. So. And unfortunately, because as, as I explained, the size of the text for me is like I don't know reading yeah. through a mic. It's crazy. Do we have more to look at here? Uh, how do I? Ah, here. Okay. So we don't know the numbers, but we've got the code. <clears throat> we don't know the numbers, but we got uh, five characters that are code, uh, none of which actually matches the two numbers that we think we know, which would be four and three. So. Um, that's not really helping us that much. Um, the other thing is the scale, like the sliding scale that we had was actually fairly long. I mean, if these are just the numbers from, um, well, from zero I think to nine, like 10, uh, yeah, the, the, <coughs> yeah, the 10 spots here. Yeah. No, and that symbol probably unlocks each, each of the notches was five. So the total scale was, was more than just 10. Oh, you mean that we have to enter one after the other, but eh. I, I don't know. It, it will probably become more apparent. Um, hmm. I think we'll that see. we were gaining symbols for those numbers back on the other island. And I think that code probably reflects what is needed to be input on that sliding rule thing. Because um, I think there was like 10 notches, but that code, obviously we've got it written down what it will be, mm. but we don't actually know what the numbers reflect yet. But that island that we that we kind of skipped by right near the beginning were giving us the numbers in some way. So I think we need to go back to that island because I think we skipped it. Uh, where we had still the where we saw the, the dinosaur dudes and and the quote unquote labyrinth, right? Yes. Yep. 
Okay. Do, do you agree that that's probably where we need to go next? Because um, I think <clears> that the, the, our next spot here, would, if we were to be here, is to put input that number into the power telescope. sphere. Yeah. Um, I agree with that. Um, however, I'm not convinced that we actually have a number for that just yet. Um, uh, I mean, the code in the book. Yeah, but is, that's five digits. And yeah, and we had five sliders. Okay. <clears throat> However, um, you know, if these are not numbers but digits, right? We have digits yeah. zero to ten, and, yep. and there was ten notches on. No, the... it's more. It's no, more it's than ten. ten. It's ten. No, we each... can go and have a look. It's we can problem. go and have a look, but it's more. Each of the notches that we used were they were separated well, by five minor notches. So the whole scale well, go, is go, more go, than it's, it's more than fine. ten. Okay. Uh, you don't trust me. It is very sad. No, I don't. I don't trust you. It's very sad. Uh, how do I get out of here? Uh, to be fair, what happened the last time you didn't trust me on a on an issue <laughs> when we had a crazy thing? Ah, right, let's look see how fast it was. Yeah, it's pretty quick. Right, yeah. let's see whether or not there's so potential. one. Two, oh, yeah, three, right. four, three, four, five, five. B -b 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 -b. another five, another five, another five, and there's five here. So this is 25 in total from what I can see. Five, 10, 15, 20. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now, of, okay. course, <clears throat> of course, it is possible that there is just something missing. So, for example, um, I mean, I'm an IT person, and we don't deal very much in decimal numbers. I mean, we do also, but uh, it's all binary at the base. And then we have uh, base 16, for example. So maybe this is something like a, I don't know if that makes any sense, but like a base 25 system. Uh, no idea. However, uh, it could be, you know, it could be that these are, Symbols that don't represent uh, zero to nine, but you know, zero, uh, or one to twenty-five or something. It's, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay. And how many notches? Uh, there is at least five notches. Yes, know. that fits. We have five Equals symbols. The, the coded access uh, to every power thing that he said, and I mean, this is a power source, right? So we have five symbols. We have five sliders. So that absolutely fits. It's just that these symbols and the scale. We need to have a translation key between this in some form. Um, yeah. It is also possible, of course, that you know the method of input is different, or maybe we just need to do like, you know, we need to do this different. So maybe this is now nah, it's five symbols. Like if it had been four, it could have been that we need to enter like the numbers fourteen and twelve or something, right? Uh, but yeah, we need to need to uh, we really need to find out the sort of translation key between the two. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go back to the 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 village <clears throat> island. Okay. Well, okay. So first thing first, uh, I think there's really, besides this, there's really not much that we've left out here, is there? Or I that we know of. I mean, so. like, we don't have any open leads that we no. are aware of. We, we have... Only, that, only the thing that's in the center of that room. Center of it room, of this one. The, the, this one, yeah. Uh, was it like a heating thing, right? It looked like. Yeah, but I don't know if there's anything. We never explored it. I don't, don't, I don't think so. But oh, hello. There's something in it. Oh God. <laughs> oh, oh, it's I, a linking book. It is a burnt That's linking burnt book. Out. Okay. Well, he did something about destroying uh, flawed linking books, right? So what do we do yeah. with this? Can we click on this? Um, no. <laughs> go into the black void. Um, <laughs> all right. Yeah, maybe not yet, or maybe not at all, but yeah. Yeah. So maybe this is where he destroyed linking books. Probably, probably. Didn't he say something like it's getting warm from all the destroyed books or something in that long thing that you read? Oh, I thought yeah. he was speaking yeah. uh, figuratively, but it might be that he was actually like, oh, and Burning. also in the pillars, remember, there was a picture of, of books and flames. 
of like yeah, burning burned, books. Yeah. When I said, oh yeah, so they burned all the books and they don't have pages anymore because they chopped down all the trees. So that fits this as well. <clears throat> okay. Cool. All uh, right. Well, I think, um, yeah, that we can perhaps. Uh, yeah. Okay. Next I think. Time, go yeah. to the other village. We can totally do that. Yeah. Okay. We'll do that next episode then. Oops. <laughs> um, you have to just find your way to the cart thing to be able to, to travel. Yeah. Which is way back on the... Uh, how do we get out of here? Through oh. the doors and... All oh, right, uh, you have turn... to be like... Yeah. Yeah, okay. <sighs> Daylight. Freedom! I think, there was, I think there's another route maybe, but... Oh, no, no, there isn't. That takes you the upper route. All right, yeah. Uh, okay. Wait, cool. this is not what I wanted to do. Arg! I wanted this. Okay. So, yeah, um, that's the first part of Riven. Um, we are going to continue this. This isn't the first part of Riven at all. This should be about 20 episodes worth, mate. <laughs> Just because it's our first. It was, the first uh, it was the first recording session of Riven, I should say. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll continue this. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, from 5 and myself. Until next time. Bye-bye. Have a good one. Bye-bye.